What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy, NextGen720, and I am back with another video. I read an interesting article, um, and I was given this with a lot, you know, I, I come across a lot of, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody that gives me these articles and, um, and stuff. I appreciate it. Um, you know, so I'm not able to do all the videos, but even though, like I said, when you guys give me a lot of these articles, don't ever think that I'm not going to use them. Um, like we, you know, we, normally sometimes I save them all. And we go over them in, in the weekly show that we do with the Big Gamer Small Talk. Shout out to Crap Gamer. Shout out to Showstopper. Um, the weekly show that we even shout out to my boy Mooch, who was, you know, he had pairs every so often on the show. Uh, so don't ever think that we don't use them. Sometimes we just save them all, you know, for the end of the week and we discuss them in a, um, a big, you know, in one big, um, in the podcast so we can have something to talk about, you know what I mean? Even though we do have a good rapport with each other. And like, first I'd like to say this though. Thank you guys for making, even the haters, for making our podcast probably one of the, you know, not say, you know, I'm not going to, you know, toot my own horn and say that we have the most successful podcast in the history of, nah, but I appreciate it, you know what I mean? For us to not to have any major backing, for us being small YouTubers coming together and making something bigger than all of our channels picked together, I appreciate it because... I don't make up big gamers, small talk, crap doesn't make up big gamers, small stop, talk, showstopper doesn't make up big gamers, small talk. We all come together and all of our three personalities, you know, four, whatever, it's us that makes uh, the show unique. You know, we all come from different walks of life, but appreciate it and thank you guys for all the support. On to today's video. Um, an Xbox fan, hang on, Xbox. Dream game is a Halo and Gears cross up, mix up. And you know, this is not the first time they've been talking about this shit since the 360 days. And um, there's some interesting tweets from, from Phil Spencer. He says, uh, What well, says this article? So the Microsoft, it says, Halo Gears and War Cross up Dream more likely than you may think. Microsoft hit up Xbox. Phil Spencer has been talking to fans via Twitter. Uh, on the possibility of uniting the two of the biggest blockbusters franchise uh, in one ultimate blowout game. On Twitter, he says here, uh, to be honest, a Gears Halo crossover game has has never even crossed my mind before, but now it has. I can't stop thinking about it. The effort possibly could be seen. We see Master Chief fighting side by side with Marcus, helping him with a storm of local stronghold, or maybe a beard and Johnson chainsaw on the head of an elite cannon off. Mm, dope shit. Apparently, the suggestion also got in the head of Xbox thinking hard to go. He said, um, we'll have to change genres. Either Halo will have to become, you know, Master Chief becoming third person, or Marcus Phoenix will have to become the first person. So let me ask you a question, you know. Uh, if you don't know, Halo, of course, is the first person. Gears is the third person action type shooter. If they were to do a Halo Gears mock-up, what would you rather see? It be done in third person or be done in first person? Me, personally, I would rather see it done in third person. Um, I'm more of a third person fan anyway, but the reason why I see it done in third person because we never really seen Master Chief in third person. We have seen Marcus in first, you know, you got the sniper rifle, but we have never seen Master Chief badass, you know, up curve stop, you know what I mean? Just like just actually seeing him do it because from, you know, from what I'm understanding, Master Chief is a pretty big dude, you know what I mean? He's not a small soldier, you know, he's a super soldier. Um, so I would like to see him, you know what I mean, but who game would, would Marcus Phoenix come to the Halo universe or would, would you rather see Matt, Master Chief in, in the Gears of War universe, you know what I mean? Would you rather see uh, Marcus Phoenix chainsaw on the head off the, the Elite or would you rather see, you know what I mean, <clears throat> or, you know, Halo, you know, doing what he do, his, <clears throat> his punch in, um, in, in, into one of those, you know, them ugly motherfuckers in the Gears of War I like guess it's a good question. Like I said, I would, if they were to do it, and, you know, I would rather be done, I would rather Marcus, uh, I'm sorry, I would rather, uh, actually, they can do, maybe do a two-part. Maybe send, do one in third person, do one in first person. Maybe send Marcus and Fiends and one of them guys. Oh, oh, what's my man's name? What's the black guy name? Night Train, Cold Train, baby, send one of them motherfuckers to the Halo universe, or, and then, you know, whoops you there, and then do one game, and put in Master Chief into the Gears, you know, uh, universe, you know what I mean? 
I would, I, I would, that would be interesting. I think that would be huge. Like I said, if it's done right. And there's one thing, like I said, if it was to be done, uh, Microsoft has the money to ensure that it's done. It wouldn't be some trashy gimmick. It would be a full-fledged blockbuster AAA game. You know what I mean? Get the right writers involved and get the Hollywood studios. Like, you know what I mean? If they were to do it, it would have done well. And, um... And like I said, one thing I, I have the faith, I think I said, if they were to do that, because you know, this is Microsoft's two biggest franchise, and they can you know, stand the chance of probably ruining them. But Microsoft has that bread, you know, you got that money go a long way. So, you know, if they were to do it, I would be feel comfortable. I wouldn't like, you know, like, oh, I don't want to see it. Then if they can, they may ruin it. Nah, if they were to do it, I knew it would be done well. And I'll be able to understand what team would you have to do? Would you have the Black Touch Studio team do it? Or would you have the 343 Studios do it? You know what I mean? I'm pleased with what 343 Studios have done with the Halo. Actually, you know, they've done a lot better to me job than, you know, what Bungie has done. You know what I mean? And if you guys, a lot of you guys don't know, I'm saying 343 Studios ruined Halo. You guys don't know shit because the, uh, mass, most of the, the motherfuckers from Bungie stayed behind or are now at 343 Studios. Like, real talk, you know? Um, a lot of motherfuckers <laughs> stayed behind and stayed with Microsoft, um, you know, because that's a guaranteed money there, you know what I mean? Hey, you're gonna, some of people, like you said, you're going to leave the leave the biggest company in the world on a what-if or maybe, you know, trying to make your own way or you can stay behind and, you know, motherfuckers got families to feed, motherfuckers got insurance, you know what I mean? And and get a guaranteed check in the mail, you know, six-figure multi-billion. Like, a lot of people, like, like you said, a lot of motherfuckers stayed behind um, and, a lot of people that left me saw Destiny turned out, but you ain't heard of that for me. But again, back to what I was saying. If they were to do a game like this, I would feel comfortable with it because, like I said, Microsoft has the resources to pull it off. But here's the question. What team would you rather see doing? 343 Studios or Black Test? Or maybe, you know, just bring both, you know, in there together. Obviously, they would have to bring, you know, because nobody knows Master Chief and them better than... You know, them guys over there, 343 Studios, and no one knows that Marcus Phoenix and all them guys, besides my man, better than Gears of War, Mike, and them, you know what I mean? So, like I said, it would be interesting to see done. But if they were to do it and be successful, maybe they can do both ways. Do one in first person, a part one in, uh, you know, you know I the first one, I'd rather see in third person. Do the first one in third person, do the next one in first person, you know what I mean? So, you know, but that that would be nice. But then, could you imagine Master Chief with a goddamn chainsaw? Yeah, doing this curve stunt with that big ass suit on. You know what I mean? I also thought I'd like to see Master Chief with the fucking man. Just Master Chief, look, take that helmet off, nigga. But anyway, this is your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That is food for thought, right there. That is food for thought. Like I said, you know, uh, recently. Uh, Phil Spencer took a trip over to Black Tusk Studios and saying, "And we know working on gears." And they said they they have came up, they kept, they have come a long way in terms of production. It's coming along nicely. I can't wait to see what the new gears looks like on the Xbox One. I swear, because it's being real. The first gears of war lets us know that really that we were in the next generation. Those those graphics and shit. That first, when that camera swung behind you was running through steps and shit like this. You know what I mean? It was like, oh my god, that shit blew our mind. But Anyway, this is your boy Next Gen 720. This hat right here is made of pure pony for. I got this for my daughter. Shout out to mama. Bang, bang, Next Gen 720. Let's get in. Uh -huh. Damn, dog. Tell you now. But could you listen? Listen. I'm sorry. I know I'm getting a little long way here. But could you imagine that possibility? Think about it. I'm getting, you know, Tingly just think about that. Damn, Master Chief inside of Gears of War. Could you imagine? First of all, just think about Master Chief fighting off a horde. You know, you know the horde comes to shit like, mm, bang, 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 he badass throwing his grenades. But all right, here's the question. If you were to do this game, what weapons would you rather they use? The Gears of War weapons or the Halo weapons? You understand what I'm saying? The Gears of War weapons or the Halo weapons? Who you think has the better enemies? Do you think they got the better enemies in Gears? Or they have the better enemies in Halo? You understand what I'm saying? Like, real talk. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, you know, just think about it, you know? And, you know, like, I, I don't know, like I said, the, 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 like, come on, you just think about it. That's some shit they can do with that, though. Like, this ain't, like, I'm just saying, it can be done. 
You know what I mean? Shit, they about to do a, a Superman and motherfucking Batman movie. You know what I mean? I'm like, it can be done. Like I said, you put the right money you know, behind it, get the right writers involved, you know, get the right, you know, dev kits and all that shit. The Brack X-12 going to be on board. Like, you know, just think about that, man. They can even do it into a movie. Like I said, Microsoft got that bread. And both of these games are billion-dollar franchises. There's one thing I can say that Microsoft has that Sony doesn't have. They got billion-dollar franchises, like real shit. You know, when Microsoft go out there and promote a game, they get all behind. You see that shit in the movie theaters, Channel 2, 4, 5, you know what I mean? All over. Shit, look at Sunset Up. I don't know why so many people are saying it's bomb. Shit, they did over 200, brand new IP, 250,000 the first week. Here it is, you got uh, Little Big Planet 3. Didn't even sell 70,000 units in this first week, you know what I mean? You have a brand new IP doing those type of numbers. You have here, supposed to be quote unquote established play, uh, franchise, Little Big Planet, which I told you no one was asking for a Little Big Planet. When I said to you guys that I was bugging, you know what I mean? Didn't even do 70,000, didn't even do 100,000 copies in this first week. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, real talk. And like I said, now you see the level of the high, with that money. You're like, you know, you seen, we all know who Sackboy is, but, you know, look at look at Sunset Overdrive. You see the commercials. Shit was in the parade. You see Sackboy floating down, flipping out, flipping out, doing the parade. Money, man. Money talk bullshit. Well, but it's your boy Next Gen 720. Let's think about it. Gears of War. Halo. Let me in your comments down below.